This is a clock similar to the one that you bought on eBay. And I'm going to show you how to switch out the uh, timepiece mechanism in about uh, five minutes. Uh, if you look on the back of your clock, the timepiece mechanism is this unit right here. And it protrudes through the front of the clock through a small hole right here. Uh, for simplicity's sake, I've already gone ahead and removed the uh, hands off this clock to save time in the video. Removing them is as simple as lifting straight up. That's all the more it takes to remove the hands. Now, when you go to Walmart, you're going to want to look for something like this. It is a replacement timepiece mechanism. And this one, it comes complete with, uh, as you can see, numerals. And also here on the right, it comes with its own little uh, replacement three-piece handset. Inside here was the actual timepiece mechanism itself. I've taken it out. Uh, I've already ripped open the package and taken it out because I, I need one hand to hold the camera. And it'd be kind of hard to do. Uh... There are two different types of these mechanisms at Walmart. You're going to want the one that says right here, three-fourths of an inch. It shows a little diagram also of, uh, of the spindle, which is this part right here, which is three-quarters of an inch. It should also say three-quarters of an inch right here. Uh, you can't see it in the video, but in this little white square, it says four three-quarter inch thick surfaces. And uh, these clocks are fairly thick, so you're going to want uh, the one with the taller spindle, like I have here. Alright, you ready? Here we go. The only tool you're going to need is... Uh, is an ordinary wrench or a pair of pliers like I have. This is so simple. Right here, uh, I'll, I'll point to it with uh, the needle here, the, hand, the, the, the second hand. Right here is a little uh, very small brass bolt that holds the entire mechanism to the face. All you're going to do is loosen that bolt up. Loosen it up. You can probably do most of it by hand. And now I'm having difficulty because I have to hold the camera with the other hand, but this really is a very simple, very simple switch out. There will also probably be a small uh, brass disc like this. And the, the replacement kit that comes in this box will also have both of those pieces that you just that I just took off. All right. Now that that now that that bolt has been taken off, that thing just comes right out. Right there it is. This one doesn't work, so I don't need that anymore. All right. There's the hole. Now you want to flip it over. Timepiece mechanism. Uh, it doesn't really matter how it goes in there, but on the back of the timepiece mechanism is a little notch right here for a nail. So I'm, I'm assuming that's going to be the uh, the position that you want it to be at the 12 o'clock position. So we're just going to put that right in there. Uh, there should be a little rubber uh, padding also. That will come with the unit. Put that through there. And this is going to be tricky to do with one hand. So bear with me here. Okay. There's coming out the other end. Now, if you notice, that's a little bit uh, more uh, sticking out than I want. So what I can do very easily 
is to get some cardboard, some small pieces of cardboard, and cut a hole in the cardboard that this spindle can fit through, and put some cardboard in between this and this. So what that cardboard is going to do is going to hold this a little bit further away from the wood. That cardboard might hold it up to here, which will, on the other side of the face, uh, it'll make it'll give it the appearance that. Uh, well, let me show you. Uh, instead of like this, it'll only be like this. And you can adjust it however far you want it to stick out. Alright. So, next step. Again, this is going to be tricky, tricky for me to do because I've only got one hand here. This is a small brass ring that came with the unit. I'm going to stick that on there. This is the little bolt that came with the uh, replacement unit. We're going to put that on there. Tighten that up by hand. Now you may find that the original small brass disc that came off the old piece that might even that might work even better. Uh, you'll just kind of have to play with it and see which works best for your clock. And you want it to be kind of snug. You don't want it moving around a whole lot. And basic, and then you're going to tighten it up with your trusty pair of pliers. Trying not to uh, scrape the surface. And you don't want to uh, mess up the uh, threading here. All you want that pair of pliers to come in contact with is that bolt. And the last step putting on the three hands. Very, very easy. Start with the hour hand. That pops in place. Minute hand is next. Right here. It's got a different size hole than the hour hand, and it's not going to go down quite as far. And it will, uh, well, it will. I know it will because I've done it. And it stops right about there. And the last piece you have to screw on is a very, very tiny nut to hold the minute hand on. And I can't do it with one hand and hold the camera. It's, I'm trying to get it on there. Let's try this one more time. Uh, well, I can't do it with one hand, but I think you get the idea, and it just fell on the floor. Okay, but let's assume for a minute that that, wing, that nut is on there holding the, hour hand, holding the uh, minute hand in place. The very final thing is to take the second hand, and it's going to pop right down in the center there. If you look down, down inside there, I know it's blurry and it's not going to come out very well, but down inside this very center hole is a small metal pin. This second hand is going to fit right on top of that pin inside that hole. Kind of like that. So, uh, this is basically what it's going to look like when it's done. Uh, in this in this case, uh, the minute hand is not very secure because I don't have the nut on there like it should. Uh, but in less than 10 minutes, I've gone ahead and replaced the entire mechanism on this clock. And the only tool I used is one of these. That's about as simple as it gets. And one of these things at Walmart cost about 550, probably no more than six bucks.